30 years ago, the British government was the biggest landlord in Europe. Today, it houses relatively few of us, and that's because of what happened right here. You almost certainly won't recognise this street, but here in Essex, about 30 years ago, a revolution happened. It was actually the biggest privatisation in British history, and I'm not talking about electricity or gas, but the sale of British council houses. And actually, the first one was just here at the end of this street, sold for £8,000 all the way back in 1980. And it's just, as luck would have it, been sold again for 260000 Somewhere along the line, a lot of people have made a lot of money from something that used to belong to all of us. And now the latest chapter in this Right to Buy story is about to start all over again, probably in a street near you. This may well be false hope. Newsnight has spoken to 50 chairs and secretaries of local Labour parties up and down the country who supported Jeremy Corbyn last time. Of these, 45 say that they would support and nominate Mr Corbyn again in the event of another leadership contest. And it's fair to say that they're not exactly happy with their Labour MPs. 1916 is about contested memory and history. 450 people died during the Rising. Thousands of Irishmen died at the Battle of the Somme, only months later fighting for the British Empire, commemorated here at the Irish War Memorial. The truth is, 1916 helped to create and cement the divisions we've known in Ireland for so long. Who should we remember? Those who fought against the Imperial British or who fought the Germans on continental Europe? So you haven't heard about the Prime Minister's New Deal in Europe? No. But you're going to vote to leave anyway? Yeah. Sorry, Chloe. I'm, just, I'm moving my... <laughs> Sorry, Chloe. Oh, Sorry, it's, it's just... Oh, it's news night. Know. Oh, Chloe. Chloe, what do you think about the EU? Would you vote to stay or to leave? Just to leave, not to stay. Oh, to, well, which one? Huh? To stay? Why is that? No, to leave. Oh, to leave? Oh, right. How do you begin to tell a child that their father has died through terrorism. It's hard enough for adults to understand, let alone children. Bad people kill your dad. Why? Because they are very bad. I'm not even sure it's people, it's evil. Now you might imagine that when the government says they're going to force councils to sell off their most expensive properties, then they might look something a little bit like this one. Whereas in fact, it also means selling houses like this. This is in Southwark in South London. This is in Nuneaton. This is a three million pound townhouse. But this is a two bed bungalow. And this would have to be sold as soon as it became vacant by the council to fund the sale of housing association properties. And that's because the law says that every council up and down the country has to sell off their more expensive homes. That money is then divvied up, put into a pot and given to the housing associations to compensate them. The problem is, is if you don't have houses like this, many councils will have to sell houses a bit like that one over there. 